Two more. As sockeye salmon in Kokanee make their way up the Okanagan River Channel, they're being watched closer than ever. As part of a pilot project, the Okanagan Nation Alliance recently started a trial study in Penticton to determine how many fish are spawning in the channel. It's definitely been an increase about a four times fold. Because I was doing a proximity count, there was 12 or so on Thursday, 30, 30 plus on Friday, and then this right now, there's, there's got to be 80 plus in my vicinity of view. Each year, the fish are visually monitored by biologists who float down the channel. But during this trial study, new technology will make for a more accurate count. This year, we're having the tower count as well, and also a sonar. So we're actually going to have three estimations a population of nerkids this year because it's actually kokanee and sockeye. And so, yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be a great year in terms of, of getting a really good estimation. Each fish has its own frequency and number, so we can track it from about halfway down the system in the Columbia River, and it passes all different dams, and it's got this acoustic sonar, which are those over there. It passes by, and it's a little beep. The project is also part of the Alliance's goal to reintroduce sockeye into the upper portion of the Okanagan River system. The sockeye are not from Scott Lake, they're from the Columbia River system out of the ocean. So they swam 2,400 kilometers to get to this site for the spawn. After 2015 or so, it'll, they'll be in the system always. Does co correlate with the, the fish ladder that will be put in at the Skaha Lake Dam this, about 2015, supposed to be in. The count is expected to continue into early November, and while the exact numbers of the fish won't be known until the data is in, the biologists are staying optimistic. So we're estimating about 14,000 on the spawning grounds this year, approximately. Jen Zielinski in Penticton for Castanet News.